Tonight, Fresno police are investigating a pursuit that ended with a deadly crash near Marks and North in Fresno County. The suspect slammed into another car, killing that driver. The suspect has now been identified as Walter McDaniel, who was released from the Fresno County Jail earlier this month, despite having a warrant out for his arrest in Madera County. Action News reporter Carlos Saucedo is live at the crash scene tonight with the latest from investigators. Carlos? Well, Warren and Liz, investigators are still on scene. They have the intersection blocked off at this hour as they continue to investigate. Now, they remain on scene. You can see over there, um, they're trying to take away the, the vehicles that were hit. But the man involved is very familiar with Fresno police. Now, let's show you video from earlier this evening. Two cars were mangled in a grass field after the driver of a 2008 Infiniti struck another car just after 5 o'clock. This all stemmed from a police chase from above. The Detectives with Fresno's criminal auto theft team were following the driver after they got a tip from the child abuse unit that the suspect, 36-year-old Walter McDaniel, was in the stolen vehicle. You may recall this is the same individual who just weeks ago was arrested for concealing a missing 10-year-old boy. This time around, police spotted him with a woman and a 13-year-old boy in the 2000 block of East Pontiac. That's when underco undercover cops began following him. Police lost sight of the vehicle but the police chopper was able to track them down. And ultimately they followed him, uh, lost sight of him, and then followed him again over on Parkway, and that's when the helicopter, Skywatch helicopter, took over following the vehicle. And it was at some point that McDaniel recognized the helicopter above and uh, began to accelerate at a high speed, high rate of speed, uh, leading up to this collision. The driver of that other vehicle died in the collision. Now, the man has yet to be identified, but we're told he's in his 50s. As for McDaniel and the other two passengers, they were taken to the hospital with minor injuries. Now, McDaniel will face additional charges, including driving a stolen vehicle and having an outstanding search warrant out of Madera County. Now, police are still investigating this, and they do not know the relationship of McDaniel with that 13-year-old boy. Reporting live. Live in Southwest Fresno, I'm Carlos Salcedo, ABC 30 Action.